the deal? What's the deal? What's the deal? Your boy LB, back with another one of them thing things, mate. One time for the one time. You know what it is up over here, eh? Check it out, though. Check it out. Today, today, bringing him back to the stage again. Bushwick Bill. Rest in peace, my guy. Whatever so clear. Let's go. speak for nobody else but already being born black is like you already got that against you from the gate my nigga and now you born with this and that and that and this and the doctors already assuming from birth you're not gonna make it and nigga even by they surprise you motherfucking make it and but now and even in society my nigga you looked upon and found upon and this that and the third bro that shit <sighs> fucked up world we live in ain't it Town. It's funny how an album could change a nigga's life around I got friends and bitches on my dick But when they look at Richard, all they see is Bushwick Sometimes I don't know a friend from a foe And every different day it's a different fucking home And now that my pockets are getting bigger I'm meeting hoes who only want to juice a nigga They tell me that they love me and all that But really they just wait for me to fall flat so they could get me for my income Take me for all I got And then some Like Trina you dig I fucked up and got too attached To the bitch's kid Knowing that she used the baby to use me Took him out my life Mentally abusing me But as the time went by I got another Slimmy And she was just like the first one Screaming gimme But not in the exact same way She had a different type of game She liked to play her name was Chris. You know what's fucked up? Is it really be kids? I mean, be women out there that really use niggas' kids against them, and sometimes just niggas like him, niggas with good hearts and shit, that they help you take care of your kids. You smell what I'm saying? And then for whatever reason, the situation not go work, and this nigga just wanna just up and bounce, and then. You wanna use that fucking lifeline or well what about the kid? Like, well first of all, bitch the kid ain't mine. But you really got women that do that shit, and then you got these trapper women babies. I spoke on this in a previous video, them trapper nigga bitches like I don't understand that this nigga just want a nut. But for whatever reason, you bitches be telling niggas oh they be on the pill this that and the third and for whatever reason a nigga nut in them so I guess you can't really fully blame the woman at that point right nah she played the quiet type and for a little while shit seemed alright but just like the first whole homie when shit got hectic the bitch broke out on me and it's getting out of hand G cause nobody seems to understand me reminiscing got me feeling kinda low I broke out the Everclear and then I drunk some more Until it was all gone Now I'm looking for somebody to take my pain out on 
but not just anybody, G. I'ma take that on Tamika, cause she's the closest to me. Full of that Everclear and high in that Buddha. Get to the house, all I'm thinking about is shooting her. Cause shooting her will be sweet. But you know to be sweeter if I make her shoot me. Call me crazy, but that's what I'm thinking. I'm tripping from all that smoking weed and drinking. But I knew she wouldn't do it on her own, so I provoked her. So this must be about the, because I know my history about the ghetto boys and shit, and I know he was kind of drunk and he got in a fight with his girlfriend the night where um, he quote unquote shot himself or she shot him, both hands on the gun, so everyone look at that situation. And that's how they got that album, the album cover, which was a real picture. I didn't know that I was a kid. That was the first, real, real quick, I remember being a kid, bruh. And my dad having that actual album. Like, so you see this big ass record, and all you see on the cover is Scar, Scarface on this side, the other nigga up on this side of the um, stretcher or the gurney or whatever, and this nigga sitting up like this with the blood and shit. And I was just traumatized as a kid, but not really traumatized, but I'm looking looking at it like, damn, that's crazy as fuck, but I'm not thinking it's real because around that time, you know what I'm saying? My dad had the Michael Jackson shit, so that whole thriller shit, and we looking at that. And so it's a bunch of graphics up on albums, you feel what I'm saying? Earth wind and fire with that weird shit so that's what i'm thinking nigga one until i got older and i realized that that was some real shit that i was like oh that's different that's real damn she still wouldn't grab the gun and at that time I wasn't thinking about no one Damn near crazy I went and grabbed the baby Held him by the door and said I'ma throw his ass out ho She went to crying Somebody stopped him I said you better grab the motherfucking gun or I'ma drop him She snatched the baby out of my hands We started fighting Punching, scratching and biting Well we fell on the bed Check this shit All kinds of crazy shit was going through my head So I ran and got the gun and came back to it Loaded it up and handed the gas to her I grabbed her hand and placed the gun to my eye muscle She screamed stop and then we broke into another tussle Yo, during the fight the gun went off quick Damn, ah oh, shit, I'm hit Now, like I said, I knew bits and pieces about that story. I, I didn't know the whole story, especially him about what the fuck? That Everclear do that to you, boy. That shit is gasoline, basically, my nigga. I ain't... Nigga say he drank the bottle till it was gone. Hell was not in I'm kind of wondering if him being so drunk and so fucked up and pumped and full of her drilling is, is what saved his life now. Well, that and God, of course. That's if you believe that. Riding in the ambulance, everything is hectic. I can't get a grip. I just can't check this. Everybody's crying. Could it be I'm dying? Bullet in my head, in the bed, I was lying. Where's Meek? I wanna tell her I love her with an IV in my arm. I took a picture for her album cover. God damn, this shit's a trip, G. Five different doctors with needles trying to stick me. I hear my family hollering he needs us. During the confusion, man, I seen Jesus. My mom's on the phone long distance from New York. Here comes the doctors again trying to rip me apart. I got a monkey on my back, I can't shake this I'm having suicidal thoughts, hoping that I don't make it But I'ma make it, cause something steady urging me Five hours passed, I made it through surgery And the doctor said I wouldn't make it through the night But God told me everything is gonna be alright And I'm glad that I'm here G But it's fucked up, I had to lose an eye to see shit clearly <laughs> oh man, I made it, I made it, and everyone gets to hear my story, I made it, but don't try this at your home, learn from my mistakes, kick the beat in, Beetle. <laughs> That 
That's some shit, bruh. That nigga said he had to lose an eye to see shit clearly. My, my mama always, even to this day, she got this saying. It takes a tragedy for most people to wake up and see shit clearly. You feel what I'm saying? And that right there, like I said, I knew about the story, but I didn't know the whole shit. You smell what I'm saying? That's a fight. Damn. But that's man to him to come out and really express that. You smell what I'm saying? Because not, not a lot of niggas was, would put their selves out there, they line out there, their story out there. There's not a lot of rappers that even put their real selves, selves out there, but that, if there's one thing we know about Bushwick Bill and the Gutter Boys, period, there was always some transparent rappers from beginning to end. They kept it a thousand. That's, that's why people fucked with them because they related to them. They, they never got to Hollywood, never got too big of themselves. It was always them still saying, niggas from Houston, you smell what I'm saying? But anyway, though, bruh, scrape y'all that, scrape y'all that. Get in the comment box. Like, subscribe to the YouTube channel, man. Tell a friend, to tell a friend, subscribe to the YouTube channel. You rocking with, rocking with Bushwick Bill? God bless the dead. Definitely subscribe to the YouTube channel. LB, but what's the deal? And I'm gone. 200.